What's up everybody? It's Uni Programmer, and in today's video I'm actually going to do a program for somebody that had a request on how to write a certain code. So the question was, for a 40 hour work week, write a computer program to compute the increase in pay if the hourly wage changes from 25.75 to 37.50. So when I hear that question, you know, I, I break it down to what I'm going to need to solve this problem. And immediately what sticks out to me, it's, it's basically you need to find the difference of two values. You need to find out how much a person w um, makes in a 40 hour week at that first rate. You need to figure out how much they make at that second rate and you need to subtract them. You need to find the difference between the two, and then that will be the increase. So let's go ahead and get this going. So, and I'm just gonna go top to bottom of how I come about making this code. So since I know I'm gonna be dealing with money, I'm gonna be dealing with currency, I'm, I need to import the number format. Take that cat plug off. And that's so I can um, have the number format. That way it'll have the money sign and it always rounds off to two decimals. And we have our main method here. And within our main method, we need to create our number format object. Our specific one is get currency instance. That's the one that we use for money. All right, so for this code, we're gonna need some variables. And we know that, so the hours worked is gonna be 40. We know our two different pay rates. One is 25.75 and the other one is 37.50. And then we know we need to figure out the pay increase. So let's figure out what types of uh, variables those are gonna be. So for our hours worked, it's gonna be 40, it's always gonna be 40, it's not gonna change. So we're gonna do a final with that one. And it's gonna be an integer, it's a whole number, and we'll just say hours worked. And we'll just set that to 40. Next, we have our doubles, which is gonna be our pay rates. Our first pay rate is 25.75. And we have another pay rate, also a double. We'll just name that pay rate two, and that is 37.50. And we need the pay increase, and that's also gonna be a double. So a double, and we'll call that the pay increase. Okay, so now that we have the hours worked, which is 40, the pay rate, our first pay rate, 25.75, our second pay rate, 37.50, and our increase, which we're gonna figure out right now. Okay, so pay increase is equal to, so how do we figure out this increase? Well, basically we just need to figure out the difference of the two numbers, right? And then that by knowing the difference of it, we know how much the first number had to increase to get to the second number. So all we need to do to figure out the difference is subtraction. That's, that is what difference is, it's just subtraction. So we're gonna figure that out by multiplying this pay rate times our worked, or, and we're gonna minus it by the other one. And since this is the higher, the higher of the two, we're gonna do this one first times our worked and then minus this one times our worked. And I'll show you how that's done. So you're gonna do hours worked times, was the, the star, the asterisk, times pay rate two, and we're gonna um, minus that to hours worked times pay rate one. 
So what, what that'll do is figure out this calculation. It'll figure out this calculation and then it'll minus it from this. And that will be our increase. Okay, so now that we have our pay increase, we have the difference right here, we solve that. We know how much we increased in pay. We need to display. Now what we're gonna do is display what we made with one rate, we're gonna display what we made with the other rate, and then we're gonna display the increase. And we're gonna use our format, our uh, right here, number format two. So we wanna output a string, and this string is gonna say hours worked. It's gonna call that variable. It's gonna concatenate it with a string And this one will be for the pay rate one, the first pay rate. Concatenate it again is, and we're gonna call our object to format. And that's our object name, which was FMT for format. And then we're gonna call the format class, which is this. And we're gonna put within the arguments our amount, what we made in that 40 hour week. So we're gonna do pay rate, a little bit of math here, pay rate one times hours worked. Okay, so that's gonna output basically 40, cause it's right here, 40 concatenated, 40 hours worked at 2575 is, and then it's gonna do the calculation. Again, let's do it for the second pay rate. So instead of writing that again, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. And then just change the variables. Because all we wanna figure out the difference is pay rate two and pay rate two. We don't need to change hours work because it's still 40 hours. So this one will say 40 hours worked at the second pay rate is, and it will format whatever amount this is. All right. Now we have both amounts that will be displayed to the screen. Let's show the increase now. So we're gonna use the system.out.print line again. And we'll put the increase in pay from the two rates is Call our format object again, format dot format, and then our number in here. And all we need to put in here, because we already calculated the increase, is pay increase. All right, let's go ahead and run this. So just like that at the bottom, we have 40 hours worked at 25 75 is 1030. 40 hours worked at 35, 50, that should be 50, is 1500. The increase in pay from the two rates is $470. So that is just the difference. Now, let's go ahead and fix this real quick and make that say 3750. So that is right here. So it's these, right? It's these pay rates. Now, the, the 75, um, has the two decimals since it already has the two decimals here um, this the, the zero doesn't carry because the zero has no value so we definitely want to um, format these to have two decimals so we can format these the same way format dot format and then we are just going to put that within the argument And the same thing, format dot format, and we want to put that within the argument. And there you go. A simple fix. So 40 hours worked at 2575 is 1034 hours worked at 40 hours worked at 3750 is 1500. The increase in pay from the two rates is $470.
All right, so that's about it. If you have any questions about this program, let me know, send me a message. And for anybody else, or if you have any more questions, just send me a message or leave a comment on whatever program you need help on, and I will do my best to get it written and show you how I did it. All right, this is Uni Programmer, and I am out.